Hi friends, this is Arno uh, Let us see about permanent enterprises limited today. Let us first analyze the fundamentals of the company. It has a diversified business among finance and pharma. The most important uh, thing to be considered in PL is it has a big base on pharma and finance places. Uh, the positives of the company the increase in net flow net cash flow and revenue and increased in profit on year on year basis uh, the ma- major important things to be considered in uh, pel as zero promoter pledge which means the pledging of prom- promoter shares is zero which is a very good positive point for uh, pel and it has high momentum on positive side in these days this is because of finance and pharma uh, sectors are doing well and also the the actions taken by the company is very perfect at this time and uh, the market for pharma and finance is worldwide but Pirmal Institute is, is in worldwide presence. Globally, 12% domination in inhalation anesthesia segment and globally, 14% domination in pain management segments. And in Japan, 56% of anesthesia segment in medicals is dominated by PEL and in UK 42% of market share is with uh, PEL which means the Permanent Institute has a worldwide presence and the most important things the key brands of Permanent Institute are follow- as following Saradon, Ipil, Lacto, Trotosil, Polycrol these are the most important drugs which we consume or some the neighbors may consume this the most important things are saradon saradon alone contributes nearly 30 percentage of market share in this segment the biggest disadvantages of the company is expensive valuation the valuation is the most expensive thing uh, it has a ipp price per earnings earnings and the book value is in degrowth zone which means the book value is has been decreasing for consequent two years and the shareholding pattern let us discuss the shareholding pattern um, the promoter has decreased the shareholding on june 9 2019 quarter the fii's FII continuously increased the shareholding and insurance companies hold 8.69% in this company DIS are qu- quite small mutual funds is just now increasing their shareholding from 0.9% to 1.26% which is a good news FII slightly decreasing the shareholding in this company but it's not an issue it's above 30 percentage these are the fundamentals of permal enterprises limited let us check the chart for the further investment decisions let us see the top down analysis in permal enterprise limited let's take the first one month charts monthly chart First, drawing the primary trend of the permanent enterprise limited. It's still in the perm- primary trend. And let us draw another line which connects the tops of the yearly chart of permanent institu- expre- Permal enterprise limited. Uh, by this line, we came to the conclusion that it has came out from the most primary trend and 
let's try a secondary trend in monthly chart uh, in monthly chart we have to draw a line like this and like this it seems to be a put channel it gave a breakout here in the monthly chart I think it will uh, take a retracement around here around uh, the price of 1675 and it's a engulfing pattern which means the sellers are very weak here let's move on to the weekly weekly chart analysis In weekly chart the same thing let's try a line again to make support and resistance more easy it looks like a more consolidation above 1300 levels it took a consolidation it took a deep consolidation actually consolidation is up to 8 months the only thing we should think now shall I invest in this this video is just for educational purpose it's not to take any investment decisions but by the breakout shall we invest it in this or not that's the question if if a stock which comes out of a most secondary or primary trend lines it breaks the trend line it's telling something to their investors the right time to invest in PEL is now the stock already rose up very much that, that means nearly 130 percentage from the March low the next level targets are around 2600 which is nearly 38 percentage then the next target will be around 63 percentage 3140 is these ranges are achievable that's the question mark yes the company has good business in their segments and they are market leaders in some of their segments and these all things will lead them to a great success now finally let us analyze in daily chart in daily chart it suggests there should be a, some slowdown because the market is seems to be overstretched the EMA gap is very high so we have to make a small we have to make a small research on we must wait till the market cool downs and comes near to the EMA which means EMA should reach the price level first then the market will move according to our moves ok this is all about the thermal enterprise if you like the video press like button subscribe to my channel and share the video to those who need this Thank you.